In this video, we're taking a look at this one, the PSA-1000 from Nembrini, a guitar saturation plug-in amp simulator preamp. It does a lot of stuff. It's super cool. Let's check it out. Excuse me, script writers, it's supposed to be let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live. Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. We are back in GarageBand today and we're going to be testing out another very cool plugin from the great folks at Nambrini Audio. This is the PSA 1000 Junior. This is what it looks like, but we're going to jump into GarageBand and add this to a guitar track to see what it can do to our guitar tones. Let's jump in and take a look. So we're here in GarageBand and this is a project I've been working on for Steve. It is a great song called Angel on My Shoulder and I recorded a couple of guitar tracks you can see here just using the stock GarageBand plugins. And what I thought I'd do is let's take a look at this one because at the moment it's using the classic crunch sound. It sounds kind of cool. It sounds like this. But what if we want to create a bit of a different sort of tone? Well, that's where I thought I would put this new Nembrini plugin to the test. By the way, if you haven't checked out the Nembrini audio plugins, there are a heap of free and paid plugins. Some of them like this one are free right now, and there's some additional ones free right now. Check the description for the updated links to all of the Nembrini suite of products and download them, check them out, use them. They're all super cool. And one of the coolest things about Nembrini is a lot of their plugins are AUV3, which means you can use them as an audio unit plugin. But to do this, firstly, what we want to do is actually create a new track here. We're going to just create an audio recorder track, come into fun, go into clean. So we've got a completely blank clean track here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this guitar sound from here. We're going to tap it. We're going to tap again. We're going to go copy. And then we're actually going to paste this in to this clean track down below. So we'll line it up like so, like that. We're going to tap on the new track, tap again and tap paste. And there you go. We've now got that bit of uh, guitar audio on this clean track. So if I just solo this one and take a listen, it's going to sound like this. So that is my guitar going direct in to GarageBand just via a, a standard quarter inch jack through my Steinberg UR22C, my favorite interface. If you're looking for gear for your iPhone or iPad, studiolivetoday.com slash gear, links in the description. But we're here to talk software, so let's come in here to plugins and EQ in the top left. If you're on an iPhone, this also works. It'll be in the top right under your plugins and EQ, and we're going to tap on this one. If we tap edit, we can actually hit one of these plus buttons here and then come across to audio unit extensions. We're going to scroll on down until we find the NAPSA 1000 Junior. Now, there is a full version of this one that has even more options that you can check out as well. But this is the Junior version, so you can get a bit of a taste for what you can do with this. And it's very, very cool. So we're all set up there. Let's jump into the plugin settings now and see what we can do. So to do that, we just tap on the little N icon here, and here we go. We can start dialing things in to our heart's content. So let's go to the start of this track here. I'm going to hit play, and I'll just dial up some of these because you can see here we've got a preamp. We've got some buzz, some punch, some crunch, some drive, low, high, wet, dry level, and level. I'll explain what all of those do, but let's just take a quick listen to see the sort of cool things we can do. Let's hit play. There you go. A lot of cool functions, a lot of cool features here. You can see that we can add very different sorts of tones and we can very quickly dial in different tones. There's even a bunch of factory presets here that we can do uh, that uh, the folks at Nembrini have set up here. You can use this on your guitars, your basses, try it on vocals, try it on every sort of instrument. I'd love to hear from you. If you try this out, let me know. Put a link to uh, whatever you create. Would love to find that out. But let's take a little bit more of a detailed look at each of these options and let you know why you would use each one and what each one of them does. 
Now, if you've used a guitar amp, you're probably familiar that at the start here, you've got sort of your preamp, which is kind of your input gain going in. At the other end, you've got your level, which is your output coming out. So they're kind of the first two things you can look at. If you want to drive it up a little bit, you can turn the preamp up the same with your level at the end. So you can balance those out to get the right amount of distortion into your tone there. There's also a phase switch here. So if you want to play around with the phase, if it's sounding out of phase, you can flip that switch and change the phase there. We've then got buzz, which you would have heard. Let's just sample some of these. Uh, actually, firstly, let's look at the wet dry. So the good thing about this is, is you can put it all the way around to dry. That means you're not going to get any of the process signal. If we play that here now, it's just the standard sound. But the more we move this around, the more of our affected sound we get in. So we'll leave that up to the full amount of wet for now, just so that you can hear what we're doing. So we've got the, the preamp and the level there. Now, we you would have heard that when I turn up the preamp and we'll hit play, you start getting that kind of overdriven sound. And that can be a good way to get some natural distorted tones into your guitar. We've then got the buzz. So if we play this one, That's a good way if you put the buzz up, you get more of that string buzz kind of sound. If you turn it down, you'll get a cleaner sound. If you want it to sit better in your mix, that can work well. We've then got punch, which does what it sounds like it's going to do, and crunch, which also does it. So let's hit the punch. Punching through. And let's hit crunch. some nice, punchy and crunchy tones. We've then got some EQ here, which is pretty self-explanatory, your lows and your highs. And what I like doing with this is being able to drop down some of the highs if you've got too much twanginess in there, giving a little bit of a bass boost, especially if you're using this with a bass guitar. So that is it. It's pretty simple, but it's super powerful. You can see here you've got a heap of different options that you can play with, but you're saying to me, Pete, I'm not a guitarist. How do I use this? Well, you can use the virtual guitar with this plugin, and I'm going to show you how right now. So this time, instead of using an audio recorder track or an actual guitar track, let's come up and find the virtual guitar track that we have in this particular project. So here is the classic clean doing some virtual guitar work. And if we hit play on this one. Now, as you'll be able to hear there, Yes, continues going on. We've got quite a few effects on this one already. So if we come into our plugins and EQ, what we'll do is let's turn down some of these effects. We're actually already using the analog rack chorus here. And I don't have it installed on this iPad, but we'll be also using the Nembrini Crunk V2, which is another amp sim. And you can layer all of these up, which is what's beautiful about this. Let's come in here and let's remove those and bring this back to a more of a stock kind of standard sound. So now if we hit play. There's that very familiar guitar sound that you would have heard if you've used the virtual guitar here in GarageBand. But let's now add in this Nembrini PSA plugin. Again, we tap on the plugin, we go audio unit extension, and this is the beautiful part about an AUV3 plugin. We can use it on literally any track because we can add it as a plugin. So down we go, we tap it on there, we tap on the end to come in here and start dialing this in. Now, because of the harshness of this guitar, I'd suggest turn the preamp and the level down to start with just so that we don't blow our ears off but let's hit play on this one and I'll dial up and see if we can sculpt a tone out of this very simple guitar So there we go, like it's not perfect, we can continue playing around with this, but you can tell there that we've got the controls here to really start changing this sound around. So if we come back to the start here, here is what it is without that plug-in on, it sounds like this. And let's put the plug-in back on there.
And what we've done there is we've removed some of the high ends, we've made it a little bit less trebly, we've turned up the preamp to give it a little bit more natural sounding distortion. Far from perfect yet, but you can see the power that we have here. And if we layer this up with something like the Nembrini chorus, maybe even some reverb and delays and echoes and things as well, you can see that we can quickly get ourselves a very cool sound. So there you have it, the Nembrini PSA 1000 Junior. A very cool plugin, well worth checking out. Check the links in the description to see where you can pick up the plugin, as well as check the reviews for all of the other Nembrini audio plugins that I've reviewed here on the channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.